Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on how to run a paired samples t-test using SPSS. So I'll be running uh, a paired samples t-test and interpreting the results, as well as showing you how to calculate uh, Cohen's D, which is a measure of effect size. So I am in the data view here of uh, SPSS, and you can see I have a uh, participant uh, ID number, in the first column. In the second column, I have a variable, which is substance use pretest. So uh, this is fictitious data. But let's assume that this is an instrument that measures symptoms of substance use, uh, where a higher score would indicate uh, more symptoms, and a lower score would indicate fewer symptoms. So then we have a substance use post-test, right? and we'll assume these are the same instrument. The pretest and the post test are the same instrument. So, this is a good example of um, the type of data where a paired samples t test or uh, you know, dependent samples t test would make a lot of sense because you have the participant, the same participant who receives uh, a pretest, and then in between here, in between pretest and post test, we'll presume there's some sort of treatment taking place. Uh, perhaps individual counseling or group counseling, and then you have a post-test. So you want to uh, determine if there's a difference between uh, these pre-test scores and these post-test scores, if there's a statistically significant difference between them. So we'll go to Analyze, we'll look at Compare Means, and we'll choose Paired Samples t-test. So I already have this loaded, so I'm going to empty this out and show you uh, from scratch how you populate this dialog. This is fairly straightforward. Uh, the pretest gets moved over to variable 1. The post-test gets moved over uh, to variable 2. And the options stay the same. And the results are also fairly straightforward. You have a uh, pretest here, the mean of uh, about 47, and the post-test, the mean was 45.6 uh, roughly. So you can see there was a drop, right, in the mean in the mean score. And down here, uh, really, what we're most interested in is um, the results of the t-test. You can see the t-value, uh, degrees of freedom and significance. And of course, there is significance here. Uh, it's highly significant. So there is a statistically significant difference between uh, the pretest scores and the post-test scores. Now, I want to show you how to calculate uh, the effect size. Now, you can see that's not in these calculations. Uh, so I'm going to move to Excel and show you how you can use the values here to calculate the effect size. So I have a fairly straightforward uh, Excel workbook here, just using one worksheet and just a few values. The formula, Cohen's D, for dependent samples or paired samples t-test uh, is D equals the t-value divided by the square root of n. So here we have um, the t-value. And we'll look back at the output, and it's 12.338. So we'll populate that. And of course, we know n is 90, because we had 90 samples. And Cohen's d is 1.3005, so this is a large effect size. So taking a look at the output again, uh, you want to make sure that the pretest is higher than the post-test. And you can see here, this, this is the calculation, pretest minus post-test. So you can also look here, you want to make sure this number is positive. Because right? that's, the, that's the difference you're looking for. Okay, So if it's statistically significant, uh, that could mean that the post-test is statistically significantly lower or statistically significantly higher. That's why we want to check 
uh, here and then just take a quick look here to make sure uh, of course the uh, this value the pretest minus the post test equals this value uh, but I just take a look at both to be uh, sure to double check and then of course uh, take a look at the t value you know your sample size and then you move over to uh, Excel where you can run this calculation so I want to show you the function uh, that I use here in Excel uh, the if error is just to prevent uh, an error from displaying you can see it's uh, d2 which is the t value divided by the square root of d3 which is the sample size so fairly straightforward function I want to thank you for watching this video if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you